Hello, I'm Brian Plum from BIT, the online community for the education sector, and welcome to our first in a new mini-series all about the Raspberry Pi. For anyone who doesn't know, the Raspberry Pi is a fully functioning credit card sized computer built by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Uh, this one costs us just over £24, and the idea behind this is to get children interested in electronics and computing. So if we look at the board first, we've got an Ethernet port to connect to the internet, two USB ports so we can plug a keyboard and a mouse, an audio uh, jack to be able to listen to anything uh, through headphones, an RCA port to connect to uh, an older uh, TV or through SCARTs, the power socket there which um, just uses a, a small uh, mobile phone charger, a HDMI port to go straight into a newer TV, and on the underside we've got an SD card slot and the SD card is basically your hard drive. So this is the first time we've um, plugged this in and, uh, and turned it on so uh, let's connect everything and see see what happens. Pop the internet. Uh, our mouse. keyboard a HDMI cable let's get our, uh, our SD card now the SD card we've just used a blank one and we've downloaded Debian software which is a Linux based operating system um, straight onto here, really easy to do, onto the uh, Raspberry Pi website and you can download it straight onto the SD card. And finally, the power. And fingers crossed, with the lights turning on, and there we go. So it's now loading up the uh, command prompt so this won't go straight into the desktop application you actually have to uh, type in a username and password which it's uh, just asking me for now so I know my username is pi and the password is raspberry so now it's ready for me to use it does not like a great deal right now, but fingers crossed, if I type in start x, this should take me into our desktop. And here it is. So this works in a very similar way to that of Windows. Uh, you've got the equivalent of a start menu bar at the bottom. Uh, you can choose various different programs to them. So we're going to use the internet here. It's Midori Internet Browser. And let's try a BIT website. Let's make this screen a bit bigger. So there's the internet working. Uh, the jolting round of the screen is uh, to do with the screen capture tool that we're using at the moment. Uh, basically because we tried to get a webcam to uh, record the TV screen and it wasn't working very well. So we've had to set up a virtual access to the Raspberry Pi from my computer. So we're now accessing the Raspberry Pi from my computer where I'm recording the screen. Don't really see why you do that in school, doesn't really make that much sense, but for the purpose of instructional videos, hopefully it makes things a bit clearer. If we look at the other bits and pieces that's on here, we've got a section for programming, which we've got Genie on here, uh, WX Glade, as most people know me, no, I'm not that technical, I'm certainly not a developer, so 
this is all really new to me. Apologies to anyone who knows how to use Linux or is aware of this kind of stuff. Um, but I think that's part of the beauty. I'm going to be learning as we go along and working out exactly what it is that we can do to use this in schools. So just try to open up. There we go. WX Glade. Um, clearly, I'll have to have a nosy at this. But I do know you can make desktop applications and GUIs in this. So just close it back. We've also got, I noticed, Scratch. This is also under the education toolbar. So it's interesting to see that although this isn't actually ready yet for education release, we have got a couple of programs in the education section. So Scratch, for anyone who doesn't know, is a free tool for creating animations and games. It's a drag and drop kind of programming tool, as you can see here. So I can click control, I can add when this green flag is clicked. Our little guy over here is going to move, uh, let's make him move 40 steps. He'll turn 90 degrees. And then let's make him move uh, 50 steps, for instance. And there we go. Bit of a quick animation there. But that's already loaded into the Raspberry Pi system. I don't think I need to save that. We've already got a music player on here. As I said, there's quite a few different programming tools. Under the other section, there's absolutely loads of stuff that we're going to have to uh, have a play around with. We're obviously going to have to get to grips with this and find out exactly what these things do and how they can be used. But the desktop, as we say, works in a very similar way to that of Windows. Uh, you've got two desktops, so I've got one for my schoolwork, for instance, and one for personal. I can right-click, and I can sort files, I can personalise this a bit more. So, let's, let's change the background, uh, which we have LXD red. There we go, that's quite nice. And that's pretty much where we are as we stand at the moment. As you say, we're going to have to have a good play around with this and find out the rest, but hopefully that gives a little idea as to the basis we can do with this. So that's our first look at the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it's important to remember that this is currently at uh, developer release. It's not really ready for schools just yet, um, but we can already see there's some uh, interesting things you can actually do with it. Um, we're going to have a, a good play around and find out exactly what we could do and how it would work in schools. Um, will it get kids interested in programming? Um, by itself, I'd say not really. Um, you have to have that initial uh, excitement about programming and wanting to know how things work. But um, it will definitely make computing more accessible to people. Sure, the, the board itself is £24. You do need a few other bits and pieces like a keyboard, a mouse, an SD card, and a, a TV or a monitor. But it's, it's a very, very cost effective way of getting a, a fully functioning computer. So we're going to have another little play around, uh, see what we can do with this for schools. Thanks very much for, uh, for tuning in to our very first video and we hope to see you again very soon.